My Design Rules is sponsored by Capitec. Better never rests. Previously on My Design Rules, the duos tackled their main ensuite bedrooms. After two weeks of design drama, Team Earth came out on top. Now they're ready to cook up something special as they take on their next challenge. There's still plenty of work to be done before the overall winning duo walks away with 300,000 Rand from Capitec. And the viewer's favorite wins an additional 100,000 Rand, as voted for by you on MyDesignRules.tv. Welcome to Easy Live Kitchens, and I think the clue is definitely in the name. And a lot of us think that it's the workspace that we're talking about, but I think it's more than just a workspace. If you look at that old cliche saying, it's the heart of the home, and your hearts for your homes are going to be handled by Easy Live Kitchens. Philip, thank you for being here and for sharing your magic with us. Talk to me firstly about Easy Live Kitchens and what exactly it is that you're offering. No, thank you and welcome everyone. Easy Life Kitchens has been in business for 32 years. We have two factories, one is in Johannesburg and one is in Cape Town. And we have 40 showrooms uh, located nationally in South Africa. Uh, we do more than just kitchens. We're also able to furnish the bedroom spaces, bottom vanities, living room areas, studies and bars. So the contestants will be working with Easy Life Kitchen's design consultants who will help them to guide them through their journey to design and to select finishes that are in line with some of the latest trends for their apartments. So I think you guys will be in good hands. Yeah, clearly in very good hands right now. Now this is a competition and we're not just here to get inspiration, but we've got a budget to deal with and timeline. So when it comes to the budget, what are we working with here? Well, we're pleased to announce that Easy Life Kitchens is sponsoring a budget of 250,000 Rand wow. per apartment. Wow. Wow. I love that. Now, from your perspective, what would you love to see in these kitchen designs that could possibly stand out and get them that numero uno top spot? Well, I think it's all in the planning. It's all about getting your planning right, getting your timelines right, and making sure that you know exactly what it is that you want to get out at the end of the day. I know Easy Life Kitchens are masters at their craft, so I am so glad to be at their headquarters today. The Easy Life Kitchen factory is incredible. Every operation is like streamlined, step, 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 and everyone knows exactly what's happening. It's amazing to see how like they use technology, and I thought it would be a lot more labor intensive. We actually had no idea how intricate designing a kitchen was. We used to just designing and then sending it to production, but then actually seeing what goes in the background, I and think it's actually the process that yeah. it has to go through. And I think once you understand that, you sort of like approach kitchen designing in a more personal sense, and you appreciate it more. Mm. For their designs, each duo is working with an Easy Life Kitchens consultant. Team Water teams up with Sapiwo Zungu in the City Bold. So we want to bring some wood elements in, like in the island, mm -hmm. and also in some of the cabinets, mm -hmm. and then almost let our colours be like pops of colour like here and there, and just creating like a more modern, contemporary feel mm -hmm. with our use of colour. So basically our colours would be like accents. Due to our kitchen also being quite small, we want to definitely incorporate that triangle yeah. of our basin to the fridge and to the stove. Yeah. So that it's just like very functional and also easy to get everything that you need out of the fridge to cook with and then also to wash up. By doing the island, we then obviously making that island the focal point of the actual kitchen where people can actually sit down. If you're cooking on the island, have a little breakfast seating area directly on the island. So it becomes more of a personal thing and more of a family sort of um, environment where you're sitting down cooking and you're entertaining and chatting. And so the island is basically a nice focal point and it's good that we can actually fit it into the space as well. Okay guys, so now we can look at the Frankie range that we have installed here. This is obviously one of uh, Frankie's ranges, the Maris range, which comes in the three different colors. So you get it in the black, the white, mm -hmm. and the gray, which will obviously have a matching tab to go with that. We can have a look at the actual catalog of Frankie when we sit down and finalize and fine tune the actual kitchen. Mm -hmm. 
I think what's going to be difficult for us is the windows and the positioning of the windows and how we're going to make our kitchen still feel like a kitchen, even though it's modern and contemporary, with the breaks that the windows are causing. So it might be cabinets, window cabinets. So we have to try and like work effectively and come up with a solution regarding that. We have a lot of samples here that I've laid out, which I believe can pick up what we were trying to achieve in terms of that whole wavy look. And the nice thing with the Duco is that they can actually spray it to match the colors that are on the PG Bison color palette as well. Our design is pushing boundaries by making use of the ripple effect to almost replicate the water, which is in our current um, color palette, and also our usage of color against oaks. I think it's quite a bold, different style that we're trying to accomplish. Working with Jade Benz from Easy Life Kitchen Somerset West, Team Fire is drawing from personal experience to bring their vision to life. We drew a lot of inspiration from the fact that we both come from big families. I'm from an Italian family, so you know, the kitchen is where it all happens. Um, so hence why we wanted to make sure there's enough room, you know, in case you've got people over. Um, mm, siblings, all of that. Exactly, yes. exactly. So yeah, we definitely want to bring that sense of, you know, family, fun, warmth, air, you know, that fire needs, um, so yeah. Yes, the kitchen is the heart of the home, so your entire family would get together in that space. And you need to create a warm and safe space for everyone to have fun. And I think really this is what you have incorporated. Jade, with the glass cabinet that we've got next to the fridge, we want to put glasses in there as well to not create too much shadow. So it's glass on glass with the LED lights in there. You know, we want to have that like light yes. coming straight through. Yes, and bring the light through. Exactly. Great. And what type of glass do you want? Are you going to do clear glass? Ribbed. Ribbed. If you yeah. can. Great. Beautiful yes. fluted glass. Great idea. Yeah. Yeah. Let's can do the ribbed glass. That? Definitely. We can do the ribbed glass um, so you don't see clearly through that. So let's say sometimes your items won't always be neat. Yes. If it's not in a straight line, that would be fine. You've got the ribbed glass to break. Yes, um, yes. Okay. Okay, it's great. Helen Keaton has got a very minimalistic feel to their design um, based on materials chosen, textures, and they have taken the textures and materials and incorporated that onto the cladding, the tiles, the floor, and so forth. So the kitchen design is very minimalistic, flowing through. Therefore, it does not require a very long lead time. So they are on track. So we came here with our very janky drawing, but you know, it, Hannah, you're artistic enough that I feel like it conveyed what we wanted and you know, Jade appreciates it, our artistic approach. <laughs> We've gone for a very minimalistic design, which I think we're not trying too hard to do too much. We wanna do simple things well and make statements with our arches, with a countertop that flows. I think a kitchen, should, there should almost be nothing that stands out as a red flag. Like yeah. it should all just be an easy experience. Yeah, everything just works and flows well together, which is important to us. Team Earth are riding a wave of confidence going into the kitchen challenge. And with a freshly brewed cup of Jacob's Lungo, they take a moment to reflect on winning the best design for their ensuite bedrooms. Brother man, brother man, drinks for the champions. Yes, sir. We did it. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. Finally getting the dub, you feel me? Yeah, I feel it. You feel me? Yeah, I feel it. After all oh, these yeah, years. Like <laughs> Actually, yeah, so this, is, this is cool, like winning this, you know, but you got the kitchen to take care of. Yeah, man, we go harder for the kitchen, make sure we execute more hours, and yeah, the work will speak for itself. You know, fuel for the next challenge. Let's get it. <laughs> You're wonderful. <laughs> Jacobs, wunderbar. At Easy Life Kitchens, we design kitchens and our clients bring them to life. Your vision, our expertise, the perfect kitchen.
for Team Earth's kitchen design, they team up with Clarissa Harvenga from Easy Life Kitchens Brackenfell. The budget is a big deal right now because we have to consider that like the round shapes that we're going for are more costly. I know aesthetic is everything, but you know, form follows function and price. So I'm not sure if it's best to use the actual cloth. It looks amazing, but I don't, I don't think it's best to use it where we're going to be storing our groceries. Okay. Because uh, we can store the crockery. Yeah, crockery. I think I think if we store all that crockery like there. Okay, yeah. so one can always bring that glass effect in here at the top. So where we can basically display the crockery behind nice smoky glass. Yeah. Like that gold smoky glass behind that. Yep. Can we please take the the wall off because mm -hmm. it's not structural anymore? We're using the beam in structures the here. Okay. Um, would you like to put a bulkhead in there? Yeah, Bring think, something in there? Of course. Like, okay. I think I think the bulkhead will be a great idea because it will just connect the island with you know, the ceiling. With, with the ceiling, and then we have the drop lights coming down. Oh, look at that! That is that is that is amazing the materials that they're using into the kitchen. Breaking the barrier between not having just the wood at the bottom, but bringing the stone into the bottom as an element in the island is definitely something different. Bringing Eurocachina and Milan's designs and overseas designs to South Africa is actually bringing that element into the kitchen and bringing earthy tones, but not just the normal creams and the whites that one will suggest. Bringing the bold colors into this kitchen would definitely make the kitchen stand out a lot. Our design is quite ambitious and it's, it is scary, I won't lie, like it's, it's all scary, but you know, we calm in the storm and we're letting everything that's happening outside of us happen and trying to trust the process. It's important to be as calm as possible Treat it like it's another day in the office and also just like enjoy it also. Just yeah. have fun. We have to have fun, you know? Fun. And also like be confident about what we're doing. Yeah. I feel like it's very important, but um, we're working with amazing people and we're trusting the process. Team Air is drawing on the experience of Martin Elwood from Easy Life Kitchen's Tiger Valley and City Bowl. So we decided that the back wall um, would be quite good to have all the tool units because you haven't got windows interfering there. It's actually quite um, hidden, but it also works well because then on the reverse side, on that side where we've got the windows, we can have a long uninterrupted work surface. Also then bringing in those curves, those rounds, and we can decide what material we want to make this from. So, I mean, this is but the start, but you know, we can, you can do anything if, if we have enough time and you've got the budget. <laughs> this is a, a typical pantry. Um, the nice thing about this is that you have drawers all the way to the bottom and each one of these drawers has got a weight capacity of 40 kilograms. So you can really load some proper groceries into this and just look how beautifully they slide. As we look on the floor, we can have terrazzo and we can have natural wood. As the light reflects on the floor, it's gonna to reflect to the ceiling and that's gonna create a more lighter environment but we want something to turn down those lights. And in contrast, I was thinking maybe using this lab because we can pick it up in the Congo. You never know what could come out of something like a brainstorming session. So we kind of just allow it to happen and unfold and then you can always pay back and create something cohesive. I'm excited about it. I like the first impressions. I think it's ambitious the way they want to create curves and things like that, which takes a lot of effort and time and money to make. It can be done. I think we just got to tweak it a little bit, get to understand each other a little bit more, and then I think we're in the, we're in the right spot. We need to come to a decision what we're going to use, you know, the colors and those type of things. Um, it is the most crucial part of this design. And I think that we need to make a decision 
really soon. Yeah. With their kitchen design starting to take shape, our duos need to decide which surface they're going to install. And Caesarstone is providing them each with a slab of their choice. All right, well, contestants, officially, let me welcome you to Caesar Stone's warehouse. Now is the opportunity to choose your slab, and that's from their new porcelain collection, as well as the quartz range. Next to me, we have Megan Knoll, who is head of marketing right here at Caesar Stone, and also is going to not only talk to you about what they're going to be supplying, but will be your guest judge for the kitchen challenge. It's very exciting. I can't wait to see the finished products. But before we get there, today you get to see the slabs in person. There's a lot to choose from. So you've got classic looks that are polished, marble looking stones with veins. You've then got very industrial looking stones, concrete feelings, matte finishes, rough textures. My Design Rules is a really exciting show because you've got these contestants who are so talented, bringing in a whole new dynamic to the design industry in South Africa. So a Caesar Stone, which is a very premium brand, but also very forward thinking when it comes to design and trends, it was a no brainer that we become the official surface supplier for the show. The most impressive thing about being in the Scissor Stone warehouse is seeing all the stone in their full length and their full glory. It's great yeah, to be here. It's really, yeah, getting like a real feel for what, you know, it could look like in the space. Hello Team Earth, Hello. this is obviously our porcelain. Yes, yes, I yes. want to show you the engineered quartz, cloud burst concrete. Mm -hmm. Got a lovely matte finish, still got that grounded feeling, mm -hmm. industrial look but much lighter. So okay. it's not going to distract from all your other focus points. Okay, cool. Wow, I'm guys. Happy this. Um, we got good advice from Megan um, in terms of our color palette, you know, how to play with it, how to kind of integrate the color palette that we have together and have like a nice room that's looking saucy, you feel me? I keep texting but I do, oh, I so do much like this, like, almost like an orange undertone that I'm vibing with. Yeah, good which we have in with our tap. Do yes. you want to see like a gold tap? With a gold tap, yes. Okay, beautiful against this. Yeah. Hey guys. Hi Hello. There guys. As you can see in person, the big slab looks totally different. This is such a small sample. Exactly. It's and crazy. there's not even like that much of the copper in there. So now we, I mean, this is, yeah. You've got to see it in person. You've got to decide, you know, which part of the vein you want to use. Exactly, yeah. It's totally different when you see it like this. I know, So yeah. I'm so glad you came. In my mind, I opt for like a lighter countertop. Yes. I've never done a dark, but you know, we're also keen to kind of shake things up yes. a little, so. Well, let's take a look. Let's we've go. got the smoke stone down there, which I think might be more in line with what I you're... I mean, smoke, fire, Sounds you've good. already got me there. Adam, you're the fire yes. theme, right? Yes. Oh, wow. Okay. The one? This is the one. Oh, wow. My soul. I can visualize this in the kitchen. Yeah. It's giving like the end of a candle, like being blown Literally. out. Yeah. Megan is such a legend. She really knows her stuff. Um, yeah, I think she totally gets our vision as well and like why we would opt for the lighter slab with like the copper or a darker slab with yeah. the smoke. I think they're also great, like opposites of each other, those two slabs. So she can see working both ways. Yeah. I see you found the cloud burst. Yes. yes. Very popular. <laughs> Where are you thinking of using this? We were thinking about uh, using these along the perimeter on the outside with a lighter color cabinet and then contrasting that with something darker. weighted and darker in, in the, the center. Middle. Here we go. This is dark crest. Mm. You've got your tones of coppers and oranges coming through, yes. bit of a burnt orange. This is amazing. Yeah, I, I really, I really like this one. Yeah. Right, guys, Hi, I, see, I see you found Mirabel. Yeah. It's getting a lot of attention. What are you thinking? Um, this is beautiful. Is this a porcelain or what? So this is Caesar stone porcelain. Oh, nice. Made to look like marble, inspired by natural stone, but obviously got all the durability that Caesar stone is known for. Oh. So if you are looking for a marble look, mm. this is this is definitely it. Because our, our theme is water, so this is giving us like ocean side, you know, like when like a river flows into the ocean and yes. those veins. And those so, ripples and in those the ripples, water. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Your kitchen is an investment space. It costs a lot of money to do. You don't want to be doing it every year. So you've got to be forward thinking. And it still needs to be a place that's going to resonate with the personality that's spending all their time there. So we've got a lot of different things that we need to consider when looking at the kitchen. How much can you endure? This is how much we can. Caesarstone, designed to endure life.
Whether you're looking for a lock up and go, or a settle down and grow, an office for your booming business, or a safe haven, we have a space for you. Cape Town's Southern Peninsula is a beautiful stretch of coastline, extending from Chapman's Peak around the iconic Cape Point to Musenberg. Private property reports a significant rise in demand for the suburbs along the scenic route, with property values skyrocketing in recent years. Rene de Witt's home in Scarborough is one such property, embodying the lifestyle and appeal that make this region so desirable for both local and international buyers. Hey. I'm so happy to have you in my home. Uh, this house was built in 2021, height of lockdown. Uh, we had quite a lot of time on our hands, as you know. And uh, I always remember fondly visiting this house years ago and seeing this beautiful, magnificent waterberry tree it's above you around you and i always thought one day when i grow up i'm going to buy this house and transform it from the awful beach shack that was falling apart and create a beautiful space for my family so do you want to sure. come and have a look with me yes, yes, please. Yes, please. Yes. Follow me. it sort of like reminds me of like morocco or marrakesh the whites and like how um, they use the, those cacti and like the, the plants on the outside. Oh, what? Cool. Yeah, look at this, cool, bro. Bro. I designed this because it's the place my husband and I and my children spend most of our time. It has so much culture, like, you know, like... Yeah. The, like that I mean, it's rest. interesting you say that because my husband's Mozambican, Portuguese. I'm Afrikaans and, yeah. you know, so we have these completely diverse cultures and some are, there's a little bit of him here, there's a little bit of me and then there's a little bit of the rest of the world you know shoved into one space but somehow it seems to work yeah this was actually an off cut that I had sourced um, and then I just had the manufacturer shape it and round it just for easier freedom of movement also we do make a lot of pizza with a pizza oven and I just find rolling it out is just so much easier um, and it's just a great space to stand around really it's super comfy when I kind of put this space together I would see things I love like for instance that lamp behind you which was handmade i did a drawing i saw something similar i liked the light mm -hmm. it looks like it's made out of clay i really loved that that the, the finish the yeah. texture there is really amazing i put together things that i see from all over the world and then i make sure tonally it kind of all works together okay guys you want to go and explore yes please, please. Okay. I can just tell like how well traveled you are with just everything. You just give me that collective vibe. What is the thought process and design thinking behind the space itself? Um, the recess, the furniture and the art pieces. There was actually no thinking other than I want a really aesthetic, comfortable space that's communal. Um, these I just bought on Instagram, they're actually paper mache. So everything is sourced from a different era in my life. I okay. like that. You know, it's just character. It wasn't right. just like put together. It wasn't rushed. Yeah. You know, no, no, time, no. it was thinking. curated over a 30 year lifespan. She didn't just go to one shop and just buy, buy. everything. It's a story of who she is mm -hmm. and her family, you know. And her travel experiences also. Travel experiences. And I love how that like, I'm how she made yeah. the final design of the house. Cause like, she, they, they really like married the classic with modern and it just, it's amazing. For me, what stands out the most like, is how you use this white like, canvas. I think the whole house lends itself to that. Uh, a lot of the furniture pieces are from Mozambique, yeah. from my husband's late mother. Um, the drinks trolley, for example. Oh, wow. The dining room table, the chairs, they're all vintage from a different era. Yeah, I like that. And also it's like a, mar a marriage between like modern Yeah, it's very eclectic, classic. but I don't feel like it's an over-designed space where you walk in and you're intimidated and you don't know where to sit. Oh, this is great. This is amazing. So comfy right now. I love it. I love it here. How do you feel? I love the linen. Right. And especially because it's, it's feather cushions. And everything is so light and airy in the space and wide. I see you've made yourself very comfortable on my very comfortable couch. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Our space is a... Um, a heritage building. Oh, you're lucky. So we want to bring in 
details of the history and the background, the story through. That's incredible. I mean, Scarborough is also it's, it's a seaside village. Absolutely. And I wanted something that kind of fits with the, you know, the sense of community. This house is all about welcoming people, you know, as Scarborough is. What I really love about this home is that it's understated. It's not very loud or out there. Um, I do enjoy the rustic feel and it feels like home. Renee, I see you are as obsessed with ceramics as me <laughs> and my partner. I have a big problem, yeah. So all of these are just from all over the place, really. And nice. Because I have so many, I can mix and match and change things up. That's like the beauty of like ceramics is that they are imperfect and yes. they're not meant to, you know, go together. You know, it's just like... Perfectly imperfect. Literally, yeah. yeah. She's not a designer, just like myself and Hannah. So, yeah, it's been really reaffirming to know that it's about taste at the end of the day and having that natural skill of curating a space. I think Hannah's gonna be a little bit jelly that she missed out on today, because um, this is also very much her vibe. I, I've got my phone here. I'm gonna just take videos, photos, and then report back to her and, you know, yeah, see what she's vibing with as well. Hannah, this has just confirmed that we've made a great choice. Look at the herringbone on the clumpy. Um, yeah, it's just got such amazing presence here, like seeing it with other furniture. Um, yeah, just look at that. It's real sexy and cool. I love it. Seeing the clumpy here um, outside has reaffirmed that we've made a great choice because I'm seeing it with some furniture. I'm seeing it, you know, come to life a little bit. So yeah, I'm feeling good about our decision. We really like how you like um, offset this terracotta um, lamp against this like blue, you know, like a... Uh, like almost contrasting background. each other. Yeah. And then your use of like different tones of wood and like pulling hard. them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it can be scary, yeah? Because, you know, I, I've always been yeah. a girl. And then I fell in love with walnut. There was something about walnut that was attractive to me in such a light space. And then I realized actually it doesn't have to be oak like yeah. why do you have to stick to certain rules mm -hmm. i'm really like curious about how you got to the conclusion of like um exposing your kitchen you know i can see glassware i can see like yeah. all the plates and stuff and it actually works it, it looks really amazing you know what it is for me is practicality mm. and aesthetics are super important but at the end of the day it's a family beat house mm. My advice for any young designers would be to go with the flow. So have a concept, try and work towards it. If it's just not working, be flexible and change it until it just feels right. The beauty of the Cape coastline is something Keaton is familiar with, having grown up in the quaint beach town of Hans Bay. Growing up by the sea definitely influences one's energy and state of mind. You can take the boy out of Hansbar, but you cannot take Hansbar out of the boy. It's just such an amazing town to come and reset. When I come to Hansbar and I go back to the city, I feel recharged and re-energized. And yeah, it's just, it's just lovely. Working on yachts definitely influenced my style a lot. Um, every single yacht that I've worked on had a different style. I mean, it's a floating house. There's so much attention to detail. It's a compact size, but I mean, there's still a lot you can do with that. And it's definitely had a big influence on my taste currently. Me and Hannah work really well together. I mean, we were colleagues and then we turned into friends and now we are teammates on the show. I mean, I think that's a testament to how well we've worked together in the past. She knows that I'm a more visual person, so she gets the mood board out, we go into Pinterest and then I'm like, now I get it. And at the end of the day, that's when the magic happens. Back on site, managing director of Easy Life Kitchens, Philip Kirby, checks up on the duo's progress. Hey guys, how's it going? Hi Philip. How's everything going? Good. Excellent. Uh, all right. <laughs> yeah. Can you talk me through what you guys are planning for your kitchen? Yes, so our um, theme is air. So we were thinking something very light and airy and flowy and kind of flows into the space. So a lot of curves. Okay. <laughs> curves are always a bit of a challenge. Mm -hmm. How are you guys managing that? 
We've kind of come to an arrangement where we use predominantly the PG Bison boards um, and squares for carcasses and then on the edges we can do like a paint just to match Bring the colours. Yes. Awesome, yeah, that's very much on trend at the moment, that uh, style. Awesome. And what are you doing appliance-wise in the kitchen? Washing machine over here. And dishwasher over here. Okay, so I see you've got an electrical point for your washing machine. Where's the water and the drainage going to be for that? In the ground and through and connect to one of those two drainage points there. Okay, so that probably should have been in by now. That should have been in here, correct? Oh, we've but got a plan. We've got a plan in mind and um, it's just a little bit of time-wise issue. Happy Tech. Do it all on our app. Just like that. During the first challenge, while Team Earth worked on their powder room, they also started constructing a unique built-in wine rack for their kitchen. This is the back of our fireplace. We've decided to do something very interesting, which is going to be a wine cellar. So the whole inspiration is um, an ant nest. If you're familiar with it, it has holes in it. So we're creating a feature that is going to include these beautiful clay bricks. And we have an opportunity to put our wine in the wine rack. So it's basically sticking them up. There's going to be five across and then you go as high as you can. But you have the same margin, kind of keeping the same distance between the holes and making sure that, you know, we get the perfect touch. When we came a long way, our wine rack is complete. It's looking good. Uh, Makawe is plotted and then we're going to have the final finish and it's a wrap. As the wine rack is starting to take shape, so are their kitchen cupboards, which are already being installed. I'm gonna make these like more like down and like not too loud, because we're still gonna have that feature, which is gonna be in like an orange sort of color. And then the marble, the marble is gonna be the banger of this island. We feel strongly about our kitchen if we can just knock it out the ballpark. Um, and then do the exact same thing in our living room. And now we have like three W's. That is everything, you know, so mission complete. The progress of our kitchen is coming along pretty well. I mean, they're currently installing our cabinets and this is our island. And yeah, there will be long, tall cabinets on this wall and then shorter cabinets on this wall. The way we are incorporating our water theme into our kitchen is through the color of our um, cabinets. Uh, we have uh, tall blue cabinets and we have cappuccino cabinets which are a, a nice sandy color um, and with that blue and that cappuccino color we are sort of like bringing that ocean feeling into our kitchen. So yeah, this is our baby, our wine cellar. We're still going to put some nice, um, you know, texture on it just to give it that raw feel. Texture is called slush basically it's cement that you spray it on the wall like to just even it out and then it gives it like texture and it's, it can be done in a, like different sort of ways um, it should be done by using cork and stuff like that but we're nailing this on the wall. We're also using our Caesar stone to be complemented on our fireplace wall and it's the same Caesar stone that we're using on our kitchen island and on the shelves so we think it will really tie the space in well together and we're painting the sides of it also blue so that will tie in everything pretty well. I currently need to get some supplies for our painters so I need some paint rollers some brushes and paint trays. We need to paint our kitchen walls um, above the marble and our kitchen ceiling. So we're using like a close to a white, an off-white color. We also need some paint primer for our kitchen walls before they actually put our color on. And we need to go get some light blue paint for our fireplace wall, the one that has our marble details. So let's check what colors are available. Hi, William. Hello, how are you? How I'm can good, I help you thanks today? to yourself. I'm looking for like a light blue color. A light blue? Yeah, for our fireplace wall. Thank you. Thank you. I think I'm leaning towards these. What is it called? Oh, Eco, Eco burn. Burn. Okay. 
Yeah, I think Eco Bay, maybe five liters. And five liters, okay. okay. As for Team Fire, things are going slightly skew as they discover an inconsistency while measuring the space with a laser level tool. So the, our core kitchen is meant to be flushed and centered with the fireplace, but now um, we are 200 mils off? Yes. 200 mils off. Which is throwing the whole thing off. It's not going to be even. Basically, like the and two this arches, is yeah. now a real problem because our plumbing is set in place. The plumbing point all falls in line, which is fine. But um, because we had to shift our units, um, the plumbing in this unit for the wash and dishwasher stack might become a problem. So we will consult with the plumber, with you guys, yeah. and then we just have to figure out a plan. Working with Team Fire, it's been a roller coaster, definitely. But we we sorted things out. We understand each other. At this time, we really need to. Uh, we've been working quite a few weeks now. Yes, but we've handled everything so far, and we're getting there. In Team Air's kitchen, delays from their side have put Martin from Easy Life Kitchens under pressure, adjusting their original design. I think they played it too safe. When I met them originally, I thought, you know, we're going to like push the boundaries. These young people are really going to push us. And I think because they were indecisive, we ran out of time. And because we ran out of time, you, you've got so much production time that, that you need to keep in mind. And I think that was sort of like ignored. And then we played it safe. Yeah. I respect Amy in a very big way especially in her situation where she's got a child. So she's quite far away from sight. I'm trying to ease that for her by taking over more and more of, of the overall project. But now it's, it's, it's starting to slowly backfire, making us fight more, or not fight, but argue more. What you been up to, Amy? I've been shopping, getting a light. Um, bar stools, that's the only thing. And then... So you organise lights, bar stools, um, and that's that basically. Bar stools and lights. Okay. Doing this competition and creating this finished product together has been quite challenging because we're not communicating. I'm trying, I'm trying, but there's no reciprocation. It's just really frustrating. It, it feels like a constant battle between the two of us. It, almost in a way, who's in control more about certain things. Amy's going to control the budget. I'm in control of what needs to happen on the site. And it, 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 and it starts to feel now that I'm moving more away to, I'm more competing with her than actually being a team with her. Will they, will they be able to deliver on site on Saturday or Sunday? What? The bar stools or do we need to go fetch them? Yeah, a lot has been going on and somewhere at some point help could have been given. But yeah. Why would your partner work against you? We're a team. Okay, what was the, what was the issue with the lights? We don't have any. Okay. Is it because of budgets? No. Timing. Timing. All right. All right, so we've got a problem. Do you? Whoa. Hey, gents. Hey. Person young only is allowed to have a first one, John. I have a sweet. I've asked him to close multiple times. I mean, if we weren't here, we wouldn't have picked this up. We would have came back to damaged cabinets. So I think it's almost always important that we're looking ahead and we're constantly supervising everyone. Stand a chance to win a weekend away in the winning apartments with Buco. Dial star 120 star 62800 hash and follow the prompts to enter. Begin with Buco.
While the duos bring life to their kitchens, the heritage building is being brought to life on the outside with Plascon as on-site architect Reno Balsamo discusses exterior paint options. This building is almost 100 years old. It's really proven it's stood the test of time. What I would like to know, what finish would you advise here? We're quite close to the ocean. We've got salty air. We're close to a signal hill at the back. We're on a slope site. Um, satin, matte, glossy, what would work the best in this environment? I'll recommend the uh, premium Plascon wall and all product. It's extremely durable and washable and ideal for these conditions, considering that we have the coast close by. So it will definitely resist you know, the coastal elements and it, uh, it's got a lotion which makes it very good for washing as well. So I can hose it down and that's fantastic. I think that's exactly what we need here. Vote which colour you think we should paint the outside of the building and stand a chance of winning one of four 5,000 Rand Plascon paint vouchers from Buco. Which of these Plascon colours should it be? Fresh linen, bleached baobab, mosaic or stardust peach? Visit mydesignrules.tv to vote. Competition closes 5 p.m. Sunday, 24 November. T's and C's apply. We almost want the clombi to reflect onto the ceiling because um, we're going for a lighter color on the walls, the white knight from Plascon, which we love. It's got that like pinky undertone. Just be mindful that when painting ceilings, it tends to reduce size, especially if you consider the size of the room. So just be mindful of that. If that is what you want to reduce the size, then yes. But if you want to sort of um, enlarge it a bit, then unfortunately white is probably the ideal yeah. color. So but there's I nothing wrong with painting it. Uh, yeah, especially with our theme being fire, it's kind of, you want that cosy feeling, yes. things to feel more grounded and brought together. So actually it kind of could be what we are going for. For the colour that Amy and myself chose was we didn't quite choose the colour yet on this particular wall. The rest of the walls we chose to make it more or less similar to the one in the bedroom to keep it in one tone. Luxury apartments nowadays, you don't always see different type of paint colours in these luxury apartments. They want to see one solid colour. We decided to mirror our island onto our ceiling using a bulkhead. So this creates some depth in the kitchen. It creates some visual interest, you know, like the eye likes to see depth. So it, it does really look good. And it, it, it's a nice um, space to hang our pendants. So it makes everything look grand. To protect their beautiful kitchen cabinets, Team Earth are wrapping everything, preparing to apply primer to their walls and ceiling. Time is against us yet again, but we're pushing. We're pushing really hard. Continue is coming in tomorrow. The floors are coming in tomorrow, so it's it's one of those weeks. I am in love. I am in a relationship with my kitchen countertop. This beautiful smokestone slab that we got from Caesar Stone. You know, I, I've been struggling to visualize and to really see the kitchen, but it's now coming together. This has, you know, solidified the fact that it's gonna be amazing. Our built-in gas hub has arrived. Thank you, Samsung, for pulling through. As Keaton unboxes his Samsung hub, he realizes they forgot to measure out a gap in the countertop to house it. I don't think we've made provision for that to be placed on the Caesar Stone top now. Um, I don't see a cutout, I don't know, maybe I'm missing something, but this seems like a tomorrow's problem, which could be a very big problem for tomorrow, but it's still tomorrow. I'm focused on today. After some slow progress and tension at Team Air's apartment, things are starting to move as the team from Eco Oak Flooring arrive to install the floors for their entire living space. Dinge is bezig om baar vinnig te beweeg. Um, die vloeren komt vandaag en die hele vloer van die zitkamer was in huidige gestaan. Recht neer tot en kom bij gaan vandaag en kom. Um, en dan is het basis net die die curved ceiling wat ons hier so het. En daar gaan nou licht wees daar wat 
of Skyn. These are really amazing floors. We saw it's in the bedroom, it was really amazing. Uh, we love the, the color. Um, but then I've noticed that you guys are gluing the floors. Uh, what is the installation process? Why are you gluing it? Because we're doing herringbone floor in your unit, um, a herringbone pattern has to get glued down. Uh, so that's the only option we have here. Uh, in one or two of the other units where they're going for the longer, straighter planks, then there's two options. You can either float the floor on a three millimeter underlayment material, um, or you can glue it down. However, where the site is situated on the Atlantic seaboard, um, it is advisable, our recommendation, that we glue the floor down just because of temperature fluctuations we can get between summer and winter, and then winter going into summertime, um, it's better for, for the wood to be glued down than, than floated. So this is the kitchen, uh, obviously a high traffic area. Yes. How do we maintain a floor like this? Look, oak flooring is, is very easy to maintain. Um, there's a cleaning solution you can, you can use once a month. It gets diluted one in 10. Um, the rest of the time, it's a spritz and mop with a bit of water, and you can clean the floor as often as you need. What is going on here? Oh man, it's it's. This is a disaster. It's, like nothing's happening. I'm I'm so sorry. This is the process. This is how it looks. We have a lot of man on the side. <laughs> I can't even tile right now on the walls because the stone is not here. But your gentlemen are here. Let's look at the flip side of it. Uh, They're about to start, and I know how they work. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. Can we at least get progress today? Can no, we definitely. at least get people out so we can work? Okay, I'll, I'll get please, everyone guys. out. Everyone out, okay? Please, <laughs> out. The doors need to go on, countertops need to be done, the ceiling fillers need to be done, and then the beautiful glass box that sits on the counter needs to be done with the wood and the glass and everything. And that's like also one of the vocal points of our kitchen. And I can't do that without counters. This is the heart of the house, so yeah, we have to get this done. I understand your frustration, but yeah, I'm sorry. No problem. You have to go now. <laughs> okay. Thank you. I'm going to leave. Okay. I'm going to leave. Thank you. Okay. Thank okay. you. Okay. Thank okay. you. <laughs> Working with the brothers has been a little bit frustrating. No communication between how the progress and things are going, but if I do ask them to get something done, they do respond and make things happen. One problem with our kitchen is that it is actually a little bit skew. So you'll see... Some other people I know. <laughs> you'll see in the alignment that it actually is coming onto the clumpies and angling at a degree that I don't even know. Yeah, So it's not great. Somehow we got to get this kitchen straightened out. Mm. Hopefully Easy Life can come to our rescue. It's just a little lift of the whole kitchen. I mean, how hard can it be? As we reach the halfway mark, you stand a chance to win 5,000 Rand cash from Capitec. To enter, tell us, which duo do you think will have the best kitchen design? Reply to the competition post on the My Design Rules social platforms and include hashtag Capitec and hashtag My Design Rules. Competition closes 5 p.m. Sunday, 24 November. T's and C's apply. Next week, will Team Fire align? Will Team Earth sort out their backlog? And will Team Air find a way to work together? It's crunch time in the kitchen. My Design Rules is sponsored by Capitec. Better never rests. Another feel-good production.